welcome. I am so excited because today we have a special guest. We have Victoria Theodore here. So Victoria is an incredible piano player. She's toured with some of the biggest names, Stevie Wonder, Beyonce. She's here teaching classical lessons for us at Piano. But we're taking a break from all that to teach you how to play Easy On Me by Adele. So Victoria. Yes. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. OK, so let's start with the key. It is in the key of F major. All right. Let's do the scale real quick. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. So remember that B flat is present, all right? Okay, so this is how the intro goes on the record. So we're gonna play F major, but with the C in the thumb, F, A, C in the pinky as well. So the pattern is one, two, three, four, okay? And then we play D minor seven, a, C, and F in the right hand. And then we play C, F, G, E, F. So that pattern goes one, two, three, four, okay? The next one, we're gonna play F with the A, C, and the F at the top, and the left hand is gonna play an A, okay? So this is really F in the first inversion. A C E. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Try that one more time. Yeah, it's a little tricky syncopation there. One, two, three, four. And the last chord is B flat. Ooh. Like that. I yeah. liked how that was like high and then low. Mm -hmm. So root position to second inversion. So from the top. One, two. your intro. That sounds so good! It sounds so good! Okay, so if you've nailed the intro, I feel like yes. you can play that basically under the verses for the most part. For the most part, you can. You can kind of fill that in, but mm -hmm. let's give a basic kind of walkthrough of how, how you would play this for the verse. Okay, so both basic chords, do you want to sing along as I play it? Okay. There ain't no gold three, in this river two, three, four. that I've been washing Good. So I want to pause right there and talk about what I did. So I just played the chords very simply, straightforward. F major, D minor, or you can do the seven if you want. Seven would be adding the C to A minor. And then I went to B flat sus two. So instead of playing the D, I played the C. It gives it a more exciting sound. Yeah, like what's happening more next? More tension. Yes. Oh, what's coming? Because you know that's not where it's gonna end. It's gonna keep going back to the F, all right? So that's the first part of the verse. You wanna keep going? I know there is hope in these waters, but I can't bring myself to swim when I am drowning in the silence, baby, let me in. Yeah. So that was that was a little tricky. Let's yeah, go over there's more what we going did. on there. More going on, and it, it's, it's a simplified version. So again, I played the F major, and then I went to D minor, and then I went to C major, but I did it starting with the F on top, which is, which is called the add 11. Ooh, it's fancy. fancy. It's a fancy chord. So, and then I moved down to the E with that rhythm. Yeah. And then I do the same thing, but this time I move the left hand to the B flat. Da, 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 da. So now I'm doing the same thing, but I'm starting moving it to the A. Da, 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 da. B flat and D resolve to the C and A. Go. that part? Yes. <laughs> so that's the chorus. So we started with F, 
go. We. Then we move to the D minor or minor seven. On to the C major. And then we go, well, should I add in a little fancy turn? I think you should, I think you Here's should. Here's a little fancy thing to do if you wanna make it sound even more authentic, you go to F and back to C. So it's I love That's that. That's a nice little it's touch. It's so fun. It it's sounds nice so good. Touch. And then we go to the A minor or A minor 7. Either works. And then we go to G minor 7 where we have F, B flat, and D in the right hand and the G in the left hand. It's a nice, rich chord. Then we go back to F over A to B flat. And then we're back to the B flat sus 2. So nice. I love it. All right, second half of the chorus. Yep. To feel the world around me. I had no time to choose what I chose to do. So go easy on me. It hurts. You see what I did there? I did the intro again, same thing. I expanded it a little bit. I added in that B flat two. I added in the F to the E, just for flavor. So good. Okay. So that's basically the song. That's basically the song. So you can take this as simply as you want. You can play and hold the chords just to kind of find your way through. And then you can add all the fancy things and the inversions on later. I feel like there's yeah. so many ways to approach it. And yeah. the most important thing is that you just enjoy playing. Absolutely. Um, and the They'll take you through the rest. I feel like the bridge, we should maybe just quickly address the bridge. Let's address the bridge. The bridge has slightly different chords. Okay. So we start on the F again. And then we go to the B flat, then back to the F. Sort of like we did before where it's sort of two, three, uh, that sort of movement. It's just a little color change. Okay. And then back to the F. And then we go to the D minor seven. And then we go to the C with that add 11 again. And then we walk it up to the B flat. And then we're gonna go one and two and. Technically it's three and four. Three <laughs> and four and, but you know what I mean. <laughs> there Shall we, we try go. it? Yeah, let's try it, okay. okay. Three, four. I had good intentions. but you got, you got the notes right, so we're gonna call it a win. Yes! Okay, I love it. That was so good. Okay, that's, guys, that's a song you can go in and play it now. You play it right now. But before we go, I think we should just do a whole performance. Why not? Let's make it happen. Let's do it.
you that Victoria learned this song probably about 10 minutes ago about that <laughs> <laughs> so we are so lucky that Victoria was here that we were able to teach this well not we she was able to teach this to you and I hope you have so much fun learning and practicing it so you're gonna be seeing a lot more of Victoria here on our piano YouTube channel and especially in the members area so keep an eye out for that because it's such a treat everything that she's been teaching us and thanks for being here have fun practicing say hello to Victoria in the comments and we'll see you around See you soon.